mtu wa Uber dia alifuatana na hii watu afta kumwogea gari e, nasikia walianza kusukumania hapa Roiro kwa petrol station ya Selo hapo dia walianzana gari yenyewe Prado KBS 775G walikuwa wamejifanyia transfer sasa hii tumefanya search na GK tunaona already gari imeingia kwao imetoka kwa jina ya Ken Mekuja odhiabu, sijui odhiabu. Lakini tukiangalia laini yenye imefanyiwa transfer ni ya Susan Wangari. Yes, Susan Wangari. One of my colleagues, and she's a lady, she was called on Saturday and she was asked for 200,000 and uh, the abductors called them, called, called the people that they were calling through the victim's number. Uh, so once they called them, uh, my colleague called Terry. She said that uh, they will uh, they will send the money, but let them let her continue finding because she didn't have the money then. All right. The people who used to uh, who work hand in hand with uh, Ken, he sent 130. So the only amount that we know of it is the 130. So they were keeping on. They were calling people. What I'm I'm being told they were leaving uh, the victims in the house. They go somewhere like Thika, they make a call. So as when they make a call from Thika, you think the signal is in Thika. So once they come back, now they switch off the phone and then they come back to the house. Hey, Yani, walikuwa wana, yani, wanaweka ile halibaya yani, maisambaya.
these people had pretended themselves to be customers, and the uh, the, the, custom, the poor customers were actually kidnappers. They kidnapped two car dealers, and they led them to towards Chuja side. Our officers have been on high alert since that day. We have been pursuing these uh, kidnappers. Today, early in the morning at around 3 a.m., we received a report of an accident. Fortunately enough, when we sent our officers to the scene, the vehicle that had been involved in an accident was identified as the vehicle that was uh, kidnapped uh, from, from Kiampu. The kidnappers had ran away. After the accident, they ran away. Enough, we got the victims in the vehicle in the boot. The victims uh, led us up to a hideout in Juja, whereby we have managed to arrest four kidnappers. These are highly suspected to have been involved. They have been positively identified by the victims. The victims have been taken to hospital for treatment and they are in a fair condition. We have come to learn that there were more than uh, four. Three are still at a hideout. We are pursuing them. An operation has been mounted by the DCI and the Kenya Police Service officers. Up to now we are hopeful that we shall get rid of them. Uh, the vehicle is detained here for further investigations. Yeah, the suspects are of middle age, the oldest being around 33 years youngest being 27 years. Among them, we have a lady. But the victims are saying that the, the kidnappers had demanded 2.5 million from them each. That's, uh, that's accumulating to almost, they were demanding for 5 million. About uh, Bonda, Bonda operators, who are part of the team that was pursuing them, they confirmed to us that these individuals are armed and we have collected some uh, cartridges which confirmed to us that they are really armed and we are pursuing them. Yes. Walikuwa mefunganishwa tu na makamba, watu wanaondoka na mapikipiki, wanarudi, na yuwa ukiwa mewe kwa maali, uelewi nina endelea inje, hawaelewi, lakini wanaona watu wanatoka, watu wanarudi. 